Hello everyone, um, welcome to my tutorial how to jailbreak the new iOS 11.3.1 and now uh, first of all as you can see uh, I'm not jailbroken yet I do not have Syria and I'm on iOS 11.3.1 now what you do is simply start your Safari browser on your iOS device and uh, all right, forgot about airplane mode. Uh, I'm only on airplane mode, so I don't get calls while I record. Uh, there we go. Now, on your iOS device, start your Safari browser and go to this address, pangu11.mobile, and here they will tell you how it works and. They will tell you that you can't install Cydia on a device that has not been jailbroken because Apple has not approved that app. But you can of course install apps that Apple has approved. So uh, what they did was they simply hid Cydia inside of approved applications. So um, what you get is an app that looks like an approved application but has Cydia and jailbreak hidden inside of it. So when you download and install this app and then start it up, then the jailbreak and Cydia will be installed in the background. So go to pangu11.mobile and scroll to the bottom. And click this little icon here to get to the free um, jailbreak injected apps store. If you can call it store. Anyway, um, now here you're going to click on that link here on this site and sometimes you get taken to other sites that don't have anything to do with the jailbreak so if you when you click that link you should be taken directly to a jailbreak injected app if you're taken to anything else then simply go back and click the link again so let's try and first try was a fail so we're going back And click the link again. Nope, same crap. We try again. I don't know with what's up with that. It's pretty annoying actually. Ah oh, come on, not while I'm making a video. Usually it works right away. Sometimes you need to try a few times. There we go. Usually it doesn't take this many amount of tries. It can be annoying like that sometimes. Now, um, all of these apps are of course 100% free. Uh, there are no surveys or verify blah 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 no crap like that you just click on the link and you get directly to a jailbreak injected app like so and then you're simply going to start the app and now we're going to let the app be open for about 30 seconds or so because right now the jailbreak is being installed in the background so it needs about 30 seconds or so to uh, have time to finish up uh, installing in the background so we don't have to do anything in the app uh, what's important is that you start the app and keep it running for about 30 seconds and what you do now is that you are going to restart your device by holding down the power button and swipe to power off and now when we start the phone again, we shall soon see if it had worked or not. Uh, sometimes these apps get patched, uh, meaning that they don't work anymore. Um, usually it works right away, but sometimes you need to try like two or three apps before it works. But usually it works right away. Um, if you're wondering about that blinking light up there, you should see it soon. 
Uh, it's the proximity sensor. You can't see it with your naked eye, but if you record your phone, while you use your phone, then you will also see that blinking light in the video. And if you don't believe me, then simply try it. And it looks like the jailbreak worked. And they are now preparing the file systems. And just finishing up. And there we go. There's Cydia. And that's easy. That's how easy it is to get jailbroken on the new iOS 11.3.1. And if you like my video, then please do comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and have a great day. Bye. I'm just gonna see. Yeah. So thank you for watching, and have a great day. Bye.